Hello everyone, this is Western and this is Bella. Uh, we're going to do a Q&A today. So we asked our friends to um, ask us pretty much questions for the both of us. Not very recently. I mean, some weren't really recent. Also, thank you everyone for the 2,000 subscribers. I appreciate a lot. And don't forget to check out my channel, Cuttlefish Fursuits, on YouTube. So, for our first Q&A question by our friend Catherine, what three tips can you give to new suitors? Okay, well, first of all, block Ryan Hill, but you, you guys need a Facebook for to understand that one. Definitely don't pull the whole, like, creepy middle school kid vibe because there's way too many of those. The pretty suitors always bring tons of water. Oh, holy crap, Always yeah. bring tons of water before you pass out because... I have experience, guys. Trust me. Even during cons, you could see, like, ambulance, like, come, like, at the front door, like, like pretty much people pass out. And the worst case scenario is they actually cut through your suit. But if you want to, like... Get shaved, go for it, man, but you should probably keep your fursuit because those can cost upwards of four thousand dollars. Or even more, it's depending on if yes, you're on option. Have you had a creepy con experience? I had a stalker last year. That's true, you did. I did. We were, so we were basically just taking pictures, right? And we were like kinda like focusing on the group. I couldn't see behind me because fursuits have crap vision. I didn't notice that this dude was like slipping into like eight of my photos. And that was the day that you were in the suit, so you didn't even like think to like look back, but it was yeah. weird, man. Ethicon 2016. Yeah, I think he got tripped up because we went into the Hilton lobby and then I started walking away and he's like, hey wait, she's not living here like for the days. For me? I don't think I've had a really creepy con experience. I've only been to um, pretty much one convention three times. Already. And I've only been to one once, but it was at their con. I went with her in 2016. Whee! Yay! Really good con, guys. You should check it out. And their con is amazing. It's in Pittsburgh, PA. So any new any new suitors, go to. Anthem. And there's so many panels. Like if you're not a suitor, don't be worried. Everybody will still love you. I yes. know, I heard that. <laughs> One favorite snacks to bring to cons. Don't bring Takis ahead of time. I know they're spicy and amazing, but don't bring them. We don't need Cheeto fingers everywhere. You do not want to have Cheeto fingers near suitors. They do not want to smell like Cheetos, and they do not want to have oil. I don't appreciate looking like Donald Trump. I'm sorry. I would say, like, pretty much grab a pack of, like, goldfish. Like, Blood gyms. Slim gyms on their way, like just walking around. Bring water, juice, anything. Yeah. Also, do not depend on soda or alcohol during a con, because first of all, alcohol actually dehydrates you, so you would be like immediately feeling like you're gonna pass out. And soda, the majority of it is literally just like sugar, and it hardly hydrates you. So please take water. Don't depend on anything other than water. Next question by our friend Kira. If you could choose to be your stone in real life, would you take the opportunity? Honestly, yeah. I'd be like the really, I'd be the coolest bitch on the block. Do you want me to be an idiot 24-7? Because that's what you would get. So you're already an idiot 24-7. Expresso myself. Honestly, yes. I would say I would be my stone. It would be really cool to, yeah, being like an anthropomorphic fox. Dude, that would be so cool. I could fly with my dinky little wings. <laughs> yeah. I could fly. Lily, if you were in a duchy, what other species would you be and why? This one I've always had trouble with because every species I see, if I see an adoptable, I like instantly fall in love with it. It's between like a pan can, some random hybrid that nobody's ever heard of before, or something that does <laughs> I, I have a wolf sona like somewhere among my spam folder, but I haven't touched it in years, so. If you could choose any fursuit maker in the world to make your fursuit, who would it be and why? Sunny Valley Creations. That's my question. You've never been I'm sorry. <laughs> They're so cute. Okay, fine. More for less. Crap. Made for you, I wouldn't mind. Mischief Makers, I wouldn't mind either. Mischief Makers are actually really cute. Yeah. 
Like they're getting super popular. I now. love their suits now. Another suit maker that I love to get is the Mixed Candy, but like they're super good. I'm, I re I really want a suit from them of like one of my characters. If you run up to me at Anthrocon and scream Kool-Aid Man, I will do that, I promise. Lily, how long have you and myself known each other? Funny story, she actually found me first. Hi! <laughs> I may or may not have slightly stalked her on PA first because I was like, holy crap, she's local. But like, back then, I was like, just getting out of middle school and you were like, what in high school? You were like, a I was a yeah. This is, oh god. So I was like, I'll meet you at school on the first day. So like, first day of school, I was like, screw it. I ran up to her locker, I was like a total idiot, and I was like really immature, and I was like, hey there! But, I mean, at least we like stayed friends, and we've been friends ever since, and we hang out like every single week, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. I was like, I, I stalked you on Skype for a little while, and I was yeah. like, hey dude. Yeah, I did find her Facebook though, and I messaged her on there, and I was like, hey, is this, like, Mishka? And she was like, yeah, and I was like, you're my friend now. You, how many times have people mistaken you for a telephone? I don't use a squeaker. I don't know how to use a squeaker. I've never touched a squeaker. She has, like, so many differences, and I don't even understand how the heck people mistake me for her. But I am not telephone, okay? And no, I'm not copying her. I asked for permission when I first designed this girl like three years ago. So like a hundred people have mistaken, probably, her and me. And it's just, I don't get it. I don't understand. But hey, at least we're both awesome. For Summer, me, obviously. No, I never would have guessed that. If you could do anything in the world that would, and what would it be? And if you could... But you could never do it again after you've done it. After I've done it. Die. I mean, that's a reasonable thing. <laughs> Dutchies don't even, like, have anything down there. Yeah. I am nothing. You are gentle. I am the air that you breathe. Breathe me in! Unholy. Oh. Yeah, I am the unholy smell. Hello. You fell from heaven. I you mean. could say I'm hold up piece of cheese. Unholy! I'll go find the door. <laughs> Bye! Next question from Nishad. Would you rather have an infinite supply of mozzarella sticks or an infinite supply of pepperoni pizza? Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Mozzarella. Hot pockets. Mozzarella. Hot pockets. Mozzarella. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. In all reality, I would have a hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Hot pockets. Ryan Black says, Summer, what's your favorite memory? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, wait, don't ban our will. I would have to say my favorite memory is, is first meeting her as well and my boyfriend. I met her in around August 2015. Oh, holy crap! Yeah, so she already. That's why! Back when I was a small bab. Back when you were a piece of small, basic bitch. Oh, shut up, you're shorter than me. I'm just kidding. I'm, by the way, I'm five foot six. You're a midget. I'm five foot. I love you, child. But, uh, I would also have to say my other favorite memory is the first time meeting my boyfriend. We met around pretty much May of last year and like we went out to dinner and like we, we cuddled the first time and I had my first kiss with him so it was, it was very very memorable. He's what? just a really sweet guy plus he's a kangaroo and I hope to have him in one of my videos one day I mean. My favorite memory is when I was like eight and I was like a total idiot so I was like holy crap. If I dive into my couch, I bet it'll turn into water and I'll land in the ocean or a pool or I tried it and it didn't work. I just cracked my head open. It's no. so true! No one does that. I mean, that. <laughs> By Ryan, how did you come up with your persona and how many sodas, characters, do you both have? But I currently have five. Ooh, get, 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 get low when the whistle blows. I know, I'm a retard. I'm finally at like three ish, I think. I have Mishka, which is my main. I have Kita, who's an African Tibet. I have Weston, who's an idiot. I also have Harley, who's a G chef. 
for me, Dad. Yeah. I love you, son. If it's debatable whether, whether trapped uh, or not gay, but is the act of being trapped gay? Are we talking about a cage? Or are we talking about a rope? I'm a trapped urban. I don't need to kind of With my it. expressing myself. Espresso. Expressoing. <laughs> You're a freaking ear is in my eye! You're welcome! <laughs> Apparently, one thing that kind of bad happened that our camera died in this time of shooting. She wasn't looking at the red flashing light, and I can't see because I'm an angled again. Here we are, like four weeks later. Whee! No, three weeks later into filming again, so yay! Welcome to the continuation of our stupidity. See you in day. See you in day. Question and a real Tony. The funniest? Most best experience you had in far. My best experience was Sunday morning at Anthrocon. There were like these two little kids in the convention center, like in the lobby of that one connected hotel that I can't remember the name of. Which hotel is connected? The Westin. The Westin. Okay, the connected hotel at Anthrocon. It's my Westin. name. Yes, yeah. I know. I know. And it was like it, it was really cool because I was like getting to dance with these kids and like be all social and stuff, and then. The dad like came up to me afterwards and he was like super excited because the daughter doesn't really talk. I would have to say my favorite experience in shoot was at Philadelphia when I was pretty when you were talking to like the crowd and stuff, like with, with, with your ukulele group. Yeah, that was great. I started a jam session with the single ukulele and fifteen random strangers. Thanks. So at Philadelphia I was with another person I I I, I <laughs> I had, uh, I don't know what their name was, but they were a really nice shooter. I think they're on this cat person that was like gray and purple, and they were wearing, wearing a white Higurumi, or like a white onesie with, it, with a hot pink star on it. Like, I don't know their name, but they, we did like shenanigans near the, like the face and stuff, and it was yeah, really cute. I don't know their name either, but I know exactly who that is. We were doing all this stuff together, and you know, it was fun. I enjoyed it. We played with like Pickle Rick and like, uh, like Fake Bomb. Next question. Any, any favorite suitors or dancers? Myself, because I'm gay and I'm amazing. I'm an angel dragon. I can be whatever I want. You're a fox. You're just extra gay. I have to say my favorite suitor. I have tons of favorite suitors. Um, I love nipple dogs. Nipple dogs is one of my favorites. I love them. Like, this is going to be a stereotypical as heck, and I'm sorry ahead of time because I'm not telephone, but my favorite suitor is telephone. See, like, you know why? It's because she's, like, so alive in suit, and I always, like, strive to be, like, like, as energetic as she is, you know? Plus, I get to be an idiot for four hours straight. What is your non-furry hobby or thing to do? Actually, I like to go skiing. I like skiing. I play guitar on my off time and I can play ukulele. She has like a whole family of ukuleles. Yeah, I have two ukuleles, two guitars, and one ukulele is the size of my hand palm. Her a guitar ukulele. gave birth to a mini guitar who gave birth to, you, to a ukulele who gave birth to a plastic small guitar. Yeah, no, it's easy. It has four strings. It's magical. It's a magical family. No. Okay, Seth Lavenda asked, when did you first join the fandom? Who was your inspiration for starting a suit making business? I joined the fandom around 2009-10, around, around that time. What are you doing? And my inspiration for getting into the first suit making business is Don't Hunt Cacti, actually. I've seen oh, a God. lot of their older suits. Things. Yeah, but it's like they took a cookie cutter and made 50 suits. No. I mean, look, I was like in seventh grade. Oh, that's true. That's true. So, I mean, they were like my huge inspiration. So, thank you for making my inspiration and pretty much lifting me up into it. Yeah. I didn't so much have an inspiration as it was just wanting to just prove everybody that I could like do something like that. I don't even know what the suit was. But when I first started getting into the fandom, like back in the beginning of middle school or something like that, I was on Google and it is because I was like the cringy kind of furry and I wanted a computer background that was a fursuit. I found this fursuit, I think it was probably mixed candy or something, I don't remember, but at the time it looked like incredible to me. I was like, someday I'm going to build something like that. So I kind of like upgraded from making cosplay stuff to fursuits and then just kind of kept going up. Next question by Lovely the Dutchie. Hey, hey Bella, what do you think of me? I think you suck. Furries, that's kind of a requirement. Furries, okay? Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, I need some monster to fix this. when wearing your first jersey. Hot. Compact. Black. You couldn't even breathe. You just had toothpicks in the mouth. That mine had toothpicks in my own jersey and I literally am so ashamed. Mine had an accidental moving jaw because I used the old mischief maker tutorial and oh, it yeah, sucked. Oh yeah, the duck face. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I don't it like the suit itself wasn't that bad. It was just like the way I built it, there was like a ski mask inside and it was just unbearably hot. Really I'm unbearably <laughs> hot. <laughs> and I got hurt now. <laughs> what brings you to in the fandom, except art, suit, and etc. Even the people. Yeah, the people are pretty chill, unless they're a baby for a thin run. Oh, it's like Rainforest. <laughs> oh gosh, no. Like Rainforest doesn't even exist anymore. Oh god, oh god. Rainforest got knocked off the face of the planet. How to attend a furry con? Don't. Don't. Furries are dangerous. Listen to your mom and dad when they tell you to be scared of the giant fluffy creatures roaming your town. I am like really excited about our last video though. 20,000 views guys, thank you so thank much. You, thank you so much for 20,000 views. You guys are amazing. Oh, you know, like, bless. Bless you guys. What? Ah, we have in this video. There are kids watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Stay tuned for next video. Bye. Bye.